Hello everyone, welcome back to Tennisshare channel. Let me just ask you straight up, are you stuck in that same loop I am? Should I update to iOS 26 or just stay on iOS 18.7? Because on one hand, iOS 26 looks super cool. The liquid glass design, the fresh UI, even the AI updates, it makes me wanna hit that update button right away. But then, reality kicks in. I start thinking, what if my phone drains battery twice as fast? What if it gets hot just scrolling Instagram? Suddenly, I'm like maybe 18.7 is the safer bet. If you've been feeling this exact same conflict, this video's for you. So what's iOS 18.7 all about? It's basically Apple's stability update. Nothing flashy, but it makes sure your iPhone runs smooth. If you've got an iPhone 11, 12, 13, or even 14, iOS 18.7 is like a retirement plan for your phone. Less heat, better battery, and no surprises. Now iOS 26. This one is flashy. The liquid glass UI looks futuristic, animations are slick, and Apple's really showing off its AI features. But here's the problem, older iPhones struggle with it. Expect faster battery drain, more heat, and some lag. And remember, those hyped AI tools. You only get them on iPhone 15 Pro or newer. Like 9 to 5 McMentioned in one of their reports, iOS 26's AI can do real-time audio translation in fast time, live subtitles, and other smart tricks. Pretty awesome. But just so you know, this feature is only available on iPhone 15 Pro and newer. So if you're on an older iPhone, stick with iOS 18.7. It's stable, cool, and saves battery. If you've got an iPhone 15 Pro or newer, then go for iOS 26. You'll actually unlock all those AI perks, and your phone can handle the heat. Oh, and by the way, if you ever need to upgrade or downgrade iOS with just one click, I'd totally recommend Reiboot. It's super easy to use. So here's the real question. Would you rather have the shiny new features and risk your phone turning into a pocket heater or keep things stable and let your iPhone last longer? Drop your answer in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think. And of course, hit subscribe for more iOS tips coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.